The next thing we want to do is to design this uh, red thing which we're going to call a chassis. So we have this main plate and as you can see it's got a number of these sections here where these axle supports fit into it. So just to give you a better idea of that we'll have a look at a drawing of those things. So this, we're going to cut two of these out on the laser cutter and one of these. Of course you can make these to, to your own design. This is just a suggested design of mine and in fact at this stage I would prefer you to pursue your own um, interest in the design to try and be a little bit creative. But nonetheless I'll show you how to do this. So of course um, the other thing that's worth mentioning is this is 100, I've made mine 120 millimetres long because it needs to fit the battery pack on there and the motor stand and the switch um, and it's 90 millimetres wide. You can make yours whatever size you like but bear in mind the bigger it is the heavier it will be. So uh, the other thing worth mentioning is we're going to use a function that you haven't seen before called the mirror function where effectively we're going to design half of this and then turn on a mirror to replicate the other half and it'll be perfectly symmetrical. So we go to the file menu, choose new and P for part we choose part and OK. We make sure as always that none of these are highlighted and here we go with our new part. So we choose a pad to start off with, the sketch icon and the XY plane. The next thing we want to do is to choose a rectangle drawing tool and what we're going to do is we're going to put one corner of the rectangle coinciding at the intersection of the X and Y axes. So draw our rectangle, any size will do, but now if we click off in space we can now dimension it. So I choose this one here and I'm going to make that 120 millimeters and this one here the side is going to be 90 wide but because we're going to use the mirror function in this case we're going to make this half of 90 which in fact is 45 millimeters so from here what we want to do is we can exit the workbench we need to make it three millimeters thick because that's the thickness of the acrylic that we cut out on the laser cutter and then we go OK. Now here is the start of our chassis Now the next thing we want to do is actually create the mirror function so what we're going to do is we'll zoom in on this and we want to choose this side now we can't just choose an edge we need to choose a whole side so there I've highlighted that side I go up to the mirror function and choose that and you can see it's uh, giving us a preview of what it's going to look like which is exactly what we want it's now double the size and whatever holes we put in this side will be replicated on that side and uh, the final thing we need to do of course is save it and give it a name so we go save as we want to what are we going to do here we're going to go fan mobile I'm going to create a folder for my chassis so a new folder, that's how you spell chassis, we're going to open that and I'm going to call that chassis also and that part is done.